Hi everyone, welcome to our 11th module of Verilog HDL Crash Course and in this module we are going to cover Verilog task. So friends, in the previous video we covered about Verilog HDL functions. If you have not gone through that video, I would request you to please first go through that video so that you would able to understand the difference between a function and a task in Verilog HDL. So before I start this video, just a small request, if you are visiting this channel first time or if you have not subscribed this channel so far, I would request you to please do subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you would get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Now let's get started. So unlike Verilog SDL functions, Verilog SDL tasks are non-synthesizable. That means we cannot use tasks in RTL design but we definitely can use very low tasks in test bench design. A task is similar to a function but, but the differences are as following. A function runs in zero time unit but a task can have timing control statements like event control, inter-assignment delay or inter-assignment delay or wait statements. So basically a function should not have any timing control statements but a task can have. That means a function should execute in zero simulation time but a task can take more time. A task does not return value in line like a function. So friends how a function returns a value? A function always returns a single value. So a function can take multiple input arguments but it only returns a single value. So a task does not return a value like how a function does but it can have output as well as input ports. So here the return value from a task is nothing but it will be in term of output port. So since a task can have output ports it can send multiple values and these ports we can declare using input and output. A function can not invoke a task but a task can invoke functions or other tasks as well. And a function have at least one input argument. A task can have zero input argument. So now let's see the syntax of a task. So we have a task keyword then the task name and then we can have our input port list, output port list or some internal variables, parameters, integers and then we will have some statements. So this is nothing but syntax of a task. Now let's see one example. If you see here, we have a module which is nothing but one ALU arithmetic logic unit module. So it has four ports, one is func, func port and then has three A, B and C ports. So here the func is a 2 bit value and it is a input port. Then A and B are also 4 bit input ports. Then we have a 4 bit output port which is C. And then we have one register declared for the output port and then we will have our task here. So here we have a task. Let's see what this task is going to do. So this task is basically going to take two inputs A and B and it will give an output. And that output is nothing but it is an bitwise and operation. So if you see here we have a for loop. This for loop is basically going from 3 down to 0 and the bitwise and operation is performed and the output is assigned to and out output port. Now let's see how we can invoke this task. So this is one always block here and this always block actually has a sensitivity list with contains func A and B three input ports or input signals. And based on the func value here we have a case statement and based on the func value if the func value is zero that means we are going to call the my end task and this task is basically doing nothing but it is doing a end operation. So here A and B are the input to the task and C is the output. So basically by calling this task we are assigning end operation of A and B the value of end operation of A and B to C. Now if the func value is 0 1 our C will be nothing but A or B. If the func value is 1 0 the c will be assigned a minus b and default c will be a plus b. So now let's see one another example where 
we will try to introduce some kind of delay in the task. So here if you see it is the similar example as we discussed in previous slide but we have introduced one delay here 10 time unit delay. So now every and operation for every single bit is basically getting delayed by 10 time unit. So this is perfectly fine in a task we can have this kind of timing control statements in a task but these kind of statements we cannot have in function because function always executes in zero simulation time and this is the reason that tasks are only used in simulation and not in RTL design. So friends I hope the concepts related to task in Verilog is clear to you. If you have any doubts please write down in the comment section. Also if you like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you very much.